So the K on PSP game has recently received an English patch. So this is just going to be a short tutorial on how to install it. So first I'm going to show how to patch the ROM itself and then from there how to play the game on Windows or if you're using a PSP or PS Vita. First you're going to want to come over to this GitHub page that I'll have linked in the description. And we've got two different options for installers. I'm going to suggest the first option. Just click on whatever you have, whether you're using Windows or Linux, and download it. Then you're going to need a clean PSP ISO for the game. So I can't show you where to obtain this, but uh, Google's your friend. It's not hard to find. Once we have our installer and our clean ISO, we can go ahead and open the installer. Now, this may come up with a, uh, a Windows protection prompt. Just click more options or more info and run anyway. Right, then you want to come over to our input file selector and select our ISO file. We can select our output and I'm going to keep it in the same folder and I'm just going to change the name to patched. All right, then we can go ahead and run the installer. Now here we have a few different options. So, if all of these are enabled, all of these elements will be patched. So I'd probably recommend keeping all keeping them all enabled. You can go ahead and patch. Okay, now we can see the installer has finished. So if the installer stops responding, uh, it's nothing to worry about. It's just running things in the background, so just let it be and uh, it should finish just fine. Alright, now, so if we go into our output folder we should have our patched ISO file. So now I'm going to show you how to get the game up and running on Windows. So if you're using a PSP or PS Vita I'll have timestamps in the description so you can skip ahead in the video. So we're going to need an emulator like PPSSPP. So we can come over to this download page and the one we want is this one right here. And once it's installed you can go ahead and open it up. Right now, the only setting uh, I would recommend changing is I'd recommend going into your graphics settings and selecting a higher rendering resolution. So most uh, machines should be able to handle this fine, even if you're using a, a lower end machine or a, a cheap laptop. You should be fine cranking up the rendering, rendering resolution that will make the game look a lot better. So now I'm going to come over to browse and we're going to find our output folder that contains our game. Here's my folder here and select OK. And we can see the original Japanese ISO as well as the patched English game. We can go ahead and open it up. Alright, now I'm on my PS Vita, and we're going to want to come over to Vita Shell, and I'm just going to transfer over the uh, the ISO file. Uh, if you'd like, you can plug in your card into your PC and move the file over manually, but I'm going to be transferring it over FTP. So we want to open up Vita Shell and hit the select button. And this will come up with our IP address. 
and I'm just going to put this into FileZilla and then you want to come over and select for me it's this folder you need to select where your files are saved so depending on uh, what kind of installation you have or what kind of setup you have on your Vita it might change so I'm using a micro SD card adapter so this is the location of my micro SD card and you want to come down and find this folder PSPMU open that up and then go into the ISO folder then we can drag over our patched ISO file and this will start uh, transferring over to our Vita all right our file has transferred over successfully so now if we take a look at our Vita and go into that ISO folder we can see the game K on Hokago Live patched ISO ready to go all right so we can click the home button and exit out of Vita shell now and open up adrenaline All right, then we can come down to our memory stick and there it is. So if you're playing this on a Vita like I am, it should run at uh, two times resolution. So a small improvement over the PSP version. Alright, lastly, if you're installing the game on a PSP, uh, all you need to do is take out your memory stick, uh, connect it to your PC, and you want to take your patched ISO file and drag it into the ISO folder in the root of your SD card, and you should be good to go. The game should be installed. So that's basically it for this tutorial, if you're running into any troubles, leave a comment and I should be able to help you out. So uh, thanks for watching.